What's up guys? Today we're gonna be working on Ryan's 350Z and we're gonna be replacing his brake rotors and his brake pads. Welcome to Static Danny Vlogs. Today we're gonna be installing um, some new rotors on my uh, 350Z uh, 35 HR. <laughs> so we're gonna be installing these brake rotors from Nakamoto. I don't even know what the fuck that is, bro. Know, what are you getting? It's my sponsor, bro. Kick it. I got them for super cheap on the low. Well, hold on, you gotta look. At, you gotta look at that. I mean, I mean, come on. Look, look at that. So we finally took off the bowl on the back side of the caliper on the top. So now we're just trying to take off the bottom and then the easy part's gonna come in. <laughs> just to show you how much trouble we had on the first one, we almost stripped the damn thing. With the second one, we were able to give it a little more life, but not to the easy part, which is replacing the rotors and calipers, caliper pads. For any of you wondering what bolts are on the rear, they're gonna be 19 millimeter, and then the fronts are gonna be 22s. So make sure you have a 22. We don't have one, so we're gonna have to go buy one. But for now, we're just gonna show you guys how to do the rear, which it's gonna be identical with the front, just different size bolts that you have to take off. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? Big Danny. What are we gonna do at the end of this video? Steal his brake pads. We're gonna finally announce. We're gonna finally announce the winner. We actually changed it up. We're gonna make it three winners instead of the two. The first one gets three of their choice. Next one gets two, and the third winner gets one of their choice. You're welcome. I just painted that. Paul, what are you doing? From what I've seen, and all the research that I've seen on YouTube. Apparently, from what they say is, the drilled do not keep the brakes as cool as they say. It just keeps this area right here cool and everything else stays hot. So under pressure, you might get a crack. Supposedly they say the OEM is better, from what they say. Um, that's about it. You know that? Well, from what they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So now we're just going to be using brake parts cleaner, which all it does is pretty much clean in the area off. Don't want to get that wet. All this dries really fast, so you don't need to worry about it. So much better. So as you can see, we have the new rotors on and uh, we reattached the caliper and then we uh, tightened them down in the back loosen this top bolt so that way we can access the pads. So these are the new pads. So what you're gonna do is get like, you can use pretty much any type of grease, but the you're gonna get grease and put it right there on each side. And this is because while you're gonna be 
braking, these are gonna be under like a lot of stress, obviously. So you wanna make sure that they're greased in there because if not, it can cause like a bunch of friction. And that's not good. It can cause, yeah, it's not good. It can cause squeaking and it can overheat them and yeah, just, I mean, it's not, if you don't have grease, it's not the end of the world, but it's just better to have grease, you know? Make sure you don't get any grease or anything on the rotors because you don't want that. So now we're just tightening them back up. And uh, what you're gonna notice with your new pads, putting the caliper lid back on, it's not gonna fit because you're gonna have your little cylinder in there. So you're gonna have to compress that. And if it's like out a bunch, make sure you have your uh, cylinder, or your cylinder cap, your brake fluid cap open. That way it can release the air. If not, then you can cause bubbles in your lines. But mine wasn't that bad, so I just put it back on. So we just finished doing the rear, and now we're oh, gonna try doing the, the front. But the, since it's already getting dark, we might not be able to record it. So we'll try to record as much as possible, and then if it gets too dark, we'll just end the video from there. So this one, you're gonna need a 22 for the both two caliper bolts on the back. So me and Ryan were able to take the first and second bolt off and now it's pretty easy. Now we just got to break the rotor out and then put the new one on. After Danny stripped it. Almost. Almost stripped it. <laughs> so now we're going to be putting the new rotors on. I know you're not supposed to be grabbing it with your hands but we're going to clean it off with brake cleaner anyways. So. Now we just gotta line it up with the holes. And if you'll notice that this one's coming out as I push that one in, I'm just gonna go. You just gotta do it slowly. One by one, right? Yeah. What's up, guys? It's been about like three hours since we first started, and we barely finished. We were fixing the front passenger side just because he did a little mistake but other than that it should be good the e-brakes a little loose we might need to make some adjustments if, any, if anyone knows anything about that it's my first time um, doing brakes on a ZNG platform I only did brakes once on a Lexus but I mean other than that we should be good if you want more of an instructions video let me know because I'm gonna do end up doing rotors on my car and maybe Frembo calipers so let me know and I'll go step by step on that one. This one wasn't really step by step, so I apologize. But on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next one. Danny, hmm? what are you doing? Nothing. Just, there's just noise in the background and I'm just trying to do this giveaway and trying to give my fans what they want, but so much noise so we're just gonna have to wait for a little bit so sad so sad <laughs> little bastards <laughs> so bear with us with the background noise if you hear any there's a lot of activities going on around us but we're adding this to the end of the break install video to do the giveaway we are gonna do three people now instead of two just for you guys the first winner is gonna get three stickers of his choice or her choice with the yucky boy shirt any size they want and then the second winner is gonna get two stickers and then the third winner is gonna get one sticker of his choice so we put all the names of the YouTube comments in a random chooser because I wanted to be completely honest no rigging we're gonna show you right now and we'll pick the winners from there so let's get started so we're gonna be choosing right now we wrote down all the names on the random chooser and the first winner is going to be Midnight Kush. So, so congratulations. We are going to be putting this sticker out, the one that pretty much ran out. We do have a couple left. So if you did want this one, it is available. These are all the ones that are available currently. And this is going to be for all the, the winners. Choose. Mark Mendoza. So that's gonna be the second winner who's gonna get Congratulations. two stickers of his choice. 
The third is gonna be Sneakerhead Chaz. So, you're gonna get one of your choice of any of these stickers that we have out. Congratulations. Congratulations. So the people who won, make sure to DM me on Instagram to claim your prize and we'll talk to you, we'll get your details and then we'll ship the packages as soon as possible. The first winner, we're obviously gonna need to make the shirt because it's gonna be custom made. We're gonna need, we, need it to, we need to know the size, so just make sure and keep that in mind. So if you guys are watching this, definitely hit us up on Instagram and we'll get that started. But in that note, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share.